Are you preparing for NEET 2023? Then here are the five mistakes you have to avoid in order to get selected in NEET. In this video, I am going to tell you the five mistakes I corrected in the last two months to get a seat through NEET. This is Maltesh Bharadwaj, your children medic and welcome to my channel. Mistake number one, not solving mock tests. A lot of you might think solving mock tests is a waste of time. You might think in the three hours I spent solving this mock test, I can study something else. Yeah, that's true. But solving mock tests will give you an idea as to where you stand and what mistakes you are committing. You can go through the mistakes that you have committed in the mock test. You can correct them then and there and it will be ingrained in your memory forever. Therefore, you will not commit the same mistakes again. So solving mock tests is very, very important to know about your preparation, what your failures are, what your mistakes are, and it will also help you correct those mistakes. Don't ignore mock tests. Solve at least two mock tests a week so that you can correct majority of mistakes so you will not do the same mistakes in the examination hall. Mistake number two, not solving previous year papers. I don't know why so many people out there are ignoring previous year questions. It, it boggles my mind. More than 70% of the questions each year in need are repeated from previous year papers. If you're not solving previous year papers, then you you're throwing these free marks away. There is only limited amount of syllabus that is available to you. They cannot frame new questions. All the questions that can be framed are already framed and they have been asked in previous year papers. You will be wise to go through the previous year papers, solve them over and over again until they become ingrained in your memory. And even if somebody wakes you up in the middle of the night and asks you a previous year question, you have to be able to answer it in an instant. Please solve previous year papers. It will give you 400 plus marks without much effort and your preparation will be more than 60% complete. If you have enjoyed the video till now, a like would be nice and a subscribe would be better. Mistake number three, not practicing problems. I have seen so many people commit those mistakes. You're like, I know what the formula is. I know what the question is. I will go solve in the examination hall. When you're sitting in the examination hall, you'll either forget the formula or you'll forget how to solve the question or you will take extra time to solve the same question. Instead of taking one minute to solve a problem, you'll take three or four minutes or even more, which will hamper your chances of getting selected in need. Please solve problems. Please practice your physics and chemistry problems so that you will not commit silly mistakes calculation errors or take large amount of time to solve small problems. It will help you score 100 plus easily in physics or chemistry. Mistake number four, not revising. We all have that feeling that we have the best memory in the world and that once we study something, it is ingrained in our memory. I wish that was true. It is not because once we study, we will keep forgetting it as the time progresses. If you don't revise something, you will forget it, especially biology like animal kingdom or plant kingdom. All these things requires constant revision. If you don't revise these concepts, you will forget them during examination. So please sit and revise these important topics so that you don't forget when the time comes. Mistake number five. This is a mistake a lot of you will commit giving over emphasis on theory when there is only two months left. In the last two months, you have to sit and solve at least 150 to 200 questions every single day. Solving MCQs makes a difference between selection or repeating. It is the only thing that is standing between you and an MBBS seat. If you're not solving MCQs every single day, at least 200 or 250 MCQs every single day, then I am telling you, you are going to fail miserably. NEAT is a MCQ based question and they are not going to test your theory knowledge. If you are sitting there studying theory, stop it, go take previous year question papers or any of the MCQs, just solve it over and over and over again until they become ingrained in your head. If you do that, there is nobody who can stop you from getting selected. I have a bonus tip for you. It is a mistake number six, not taking proper breaks. I know many of you guys are preparing for this exam from one, two, three years. If you're sitting there constantly studying, constantly being under pressure to perform, to take mock tests, to study, to finish uh, syllabus, you are putting yourself in immense pressure. We will only have a small amount of motivation in us. If we don't recharge it, we are going to feel the burnout and we will stop advancing. In order to avoid burnout and in order to conquer this difficult exam, you have to take a lot of breaks. Please get up from your seats at least once a day. Go out, exercise, have a walk, talk to your friends, talk to your family, watch movies, watch a series, pamper yourself. 
the two hours you spend in exercising to two hours you spend yourself in pampering every day will come back to you as motivation it will come back to you as willpower to crack this exam it will make you study even more harder and it will help you focus even more better so please don't neglect your health please have fun it will actually increase your performance avoid these mistakes and your preparation will go through the roof and avoiding these mistakes will mean a difference between getting selected or repeating a year i will see you guys in the next video until then take care study well don't stop having fun bye bye